Why are you an atheist? Why don't you believe in Thor? Why don't you believe in Zeus? Nobody believes in most of the things that you could believe in. You're an atheist with respect to the flying spaghetti monster. Uh, there's an issue that I perceive as severely problematic by any theist point uh, that involves the fact that every single person in this room, and in fact every single person on this planet, is an atheist many, 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 many times over in regards to the pantheon of gods that have come before. It's easy to address. Um, Definition of atheism. Remember, I'm going to read again from the Encyclopedia of Philosophy. According to the most usual definition, an atheist is a person who maintains that there is no God. That is, that the sentence God exists expresses a false proposition. Therefore, in no sense I'm, am I an atheist. Uh, just because I deny the existence of uh, Odin and Thor and Zeus and Hermes doesn't make me an atheist because to be an atheist you need to believe the proposition there is no God. And semantics. I believe there is a I'm God. I'm sorry, but that's semantics. Excuse me? That's semantics. No, You're sir, arguing it's semantics. not. This, is a, this means that you believe a universally quantified statement. There is no such being as God. And, and uh, I don't believe that because I do believe that there is a God. So, so you use a word other than atheist, it still comes to the same question. thing. No, what you, you have been led astray by. Uh, a common sort of internet infidel talking point that is given to atheists to use against theists to make it seem like the atheist claim is less radical, that everybody is an atheist about other gods. And that's simply not true because to be an atheist you have to believe there is no god at all. And I don't believe that, so in no sense am I an atheist. The things that you could believe in, you're an atheist with respect to the flying spaghetti monster. I'm an atheist with respect to the Judeo-Christian God because there is not a shred of evidence in favor of the Judeo-Christian God or indeed any other God. Now, you've simply asserted that uh, belief in Odin and Thor and Zeus and so forth is no more rational or irrational than belief in uh, classical theism. Uh, that's what this whole debate, in a sense, has been about. And, uh, and to show that, you would have to refute all of my arguments. Um, and you're welcome to, to do that. Uh, I think these arguments are, are sound arguments, and they're incompatible with the existence of uh, these deities that you mentioned. So I, I'm willing to stand on the evidence that I've presented.